Welcome back to the classroom. My name is Mr. Wong. Today we'll be looking at a chemistry problem, solubility equilibria. This is with the HSC uh, chemistry paper of 2022, question 35. So we have a precipitate of strontium hydroxide. Molar mass is given. We had a um, concentration of 1.5 moles of strontium nitrate at 80 millimeters, uh, liter, sorry, and also a concentration of sodium hydroxide of 0 0.855 uh, moles per liter, volume given there. And we produced a mass of dry precipitate, in this case, the strontium hydroxide of 3.93 grams. The question's asking us, what is the KSP of strontium hydroxide? So there's a few information uh, given to us already. What we can try and look at is what is the number of moles of strontium hydroxide um, used or produced in this reaction? How many moles of strontium nitrate and sodium hydroxide do we have at the start? And how much was used in the formation of this particular precipitation? I'm going to start by writing the um, dissociation of this particular precipitate. So strontium 2, and we have Ag, we have strontium 2 plus, and OH minus. So that is our formula that we have here thus far. You can see for strontium hydroxide to the strontium, it's a 1 1 ratio, and for the uh, strontium hydroxide to the hydroxide ion, it's a 1 to 2 mole ratio. That's going to come back as an important feature when we're calculating our final answer. But firstly, we want to look at the number of moles of our final uh, strontium hydroxide compound. We plug it in to find the number of moles that was um, formed from this precipitation. And so I have 0 0.0323111746 moles. Okay, that's what we have. If we then look at um, the amount of strontium and hydroxide produced at the end, this is what we get. So strontium 2 plus at the end was the exact same. So 0 0.3231107 moles. And for our hydroxide at the end, it would be the multiple of this value here. So I just times it by 2. I have the number above, and I get a value of 0 0.0646222 So that was uh, the number of moles um, of strontium and hydroxide used to form the precipitate at the end. What we need to now look at is how much did we actually have at the start and how much remains at the point where we reach equilibrium. Just remember the amount that we've actually used, okay, that is no longer counted for when we do our K value um, at the end. I'll explain a little bit more of that at the end, but the original, so the strontium, that we had originally was this value that we have here. So we have 80 liters or 80 milliliters, sorry. And we get a value of, let's see, what did I have? 0 
moles and the original number of moles of the hydroxide solution I had. I guess you could write um, the sodium hydroxide and the strontium nitrate, but this way it's just a little bit easier for myself. So if you like to format this bit a little bit differently, feel free to. And I had 0 0.0684 moles. Okay, so that's what we have here. Okay. The next thing I want to find out is how much, um, you know, how much or how many moles of this particular uh, compound do I have at the end or at equilibrium. So what I'll need to do now is subtract the original amount by uh, the bit that I had um, used up. Okay. I shouldn't write the end, I should write used. <clears throat> okay, now let's have a look at what we have at the end. So strontium 2 plus at equilibrium, the number of moles, so to speak, is 0 0.12 subtracted by 0 0.0323110413. Or 746. We'll get the final number once I've done the second part, which is the hydroxide at equilibrium would be 0 0.068 subtracted by the value we found above. Okay, let's look at what the values are. Okay, so for the number of moles of strontium at the end, that is 0 0.0876888-9254. And then number of moles at the end for our hydroxide group or hydroxide, not hydroxide, we're thinking about organic chemistry. That's what we have there. Okay, now to find the KSP, we need the uh, concentration of the two chemicals at equilibrium. So we have the number of moles that uh, of the chemicals at equilibrium, but we don't have the concentration. So the next step is to find the concentration uh, and then we put it in our equilibrium expression to find KSP. So the concentration of the strontium is the number of moles at equilibrium divided by the concentration, or not concentration, the volume of the vessel at equilibrium, which is 160 milliliters. And same thing applies for our hydroxyl group. Keep saying hydroxyl group, uh, our hydroxide ion. And let's calculate what those values are. So the concentration we have is for the strontium at equilibrium is 0.54. 8055584 so the number or the concentration sorry um, at the end is 0 0.0236115675 so those are our two concentrations um, at the equilibrium point there. So after all that calculation, the question still is, what is the KSP of uh, strontium hydroxide? So this is where we need to write out the equilibrium expression. And so as I showed earlier in the expression, it is just the strontium and the hydroxide. Don't forget the square because of the coefficients we've shown here. 
And so we plug in the, technically it's substitute, but we substitute in the following values that we calculated. And from there, we should be able to find the correct KSP value. Okay, so let's have a look at what that is. And my final KSP value is 0 0.00030553 set. The last bit is just to round our problem or round our solution into the correct uh, significant figures. If you have a look in each one, the low sig figs is actually three. So I'm gonna round it off to three sig figs. And that's how you solve the problem. If you found this video useful in exploring all the different methods required to understand the problem and you found it much easier following along with this kind of format, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time where I'll make more videos where we go through various chemistry related problems. Take care!